this afternoon. I've seen that one hide. I'm in some pretty nice country, just contouring my way around this face and glassing down to my left. Marley's jumped over to the right to have a glass in the next gully, but yeah, it's pretty quiet so far. Keep on tracking, probably got about a half hour of light left, so I'm not holding real high confidence, but we'll see. Gotta wait it out till the end, so see if we can't find another one. I just found that hind, well I'm pretty sure it's the same hind that I videoed first. And then there's another one over on another open face, out in the middle of the open. Wish there was a body stag with them. <laughs> I'm just watching this one now with naked eye, can just see it clear as day. But I'm slowly starting to run out of light, so I'm going to slowly start making my way back to the track and yeah, get back to the car, so it's not looking real promising, but Anyway, at least I've seen a couple of deer. Real nice afternoon. Started off a bit windy and cold, but it's just gotten real good now, so... So I won't complain. Hopefully the morning's like this. Well, that's going to be a wrap for the Salvo. I'm nearly back to the track. I haven't seen anything else, so... <sighs> Alright. I'm going to get back to the car. I'll see you guys in the morning. quickly glass this next gully behind me and yeah if it's no good I'm gonna go back up to the track <sighs> make some coffee what do you reckon Rem? she's like right in my way I'm back at the car, I'm calling this a wrap. I didn't see any more deer, apart from that hind that I glimpsed, which I didn't even get on camera, so that sucks. I just tried to fly the drone around just to get some footage of some kangaroos, but the, the wind's real bad, so I was getting wind warnings on the drone, so I ended up having to land it and stop doing that. So it's still really early, so I think that's forecast for rain today, but I'm gonna go have a carp fish now. See if I can't catch a carp. Make sure the GoPro's all set up this time because I tried to do that the other day. But yeah, I, I went out, caught one, thought I had it on the GoPro, and 
I don't know whether it overheated. It was on that real hot day. It was must have been Monday or something. Real hot and yeah. Filming in good quality footage and just overheated the GoPro and it just turned itself off, I think. So anyway, I'm going to go try and do that again right now. It's not as hot. It's actually pretty cold, but yeah, go do that and see what we can do. I need to probably need to get a little mic or something for the GoPro. I don't know whether you can get like a dead cat to make the audio a bit better to cut out a bit of wind noise. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I'll suss that out later. In the meantime, I just want to catch a bloody fish. I used to used to video so many on my phone. I'd put them on my Instagram stories, and I always, you know, videoed them in portrait mode for Instagram. And I should have should have been doing it in landscape and putting them on YouTube. Really, that's what I should have been doing. But anyway. I think I enjoy this type of fishing so much because it's very similar to hunting. Literally spot and stalk pretty much. I'm walking along trying to spot a fish and then I've got to make a good good cast or we'll call it a good shot. If I don't, I spook it. And then it's a miss. I would have, would have liked to have seen one by now. You can normally see their tail working, like if they're in the shallow water, they'll have their have their tail out of the water. Hopefully, I can make it through this without getting wet feet. All right, well, I was just going to do this in one take, but. I was hoping to see a fish by now. We've been recording for nearly 10 minutes now. Obviously, you're not going to be watching 10 minutes of it because I'm going to clip it up a bit, but I might uh, stop recording and I'll put the GoPro back on my head if I actually see one. There's one up here. Oh, there's one. Okay. All right, this is good. I don't know whether you guys can see this one ahead of me. It's going to be a little bit of a tricky cast, but I should be able to bring it just down in front of him like this. I think he's got it. Yeah. All right, that's good. We've worked hard for that one, guys. Jesus. Very, very hard for that one. So this is what I've been trying to do all morning and I was trying to do the other day and I I did get one the other day but I bloody like I said the GoPro overheated or something that might not be a too bad a fish this one got a perfect spot to land it as well for him to land it and he's putting a little bit of hurt on this little rod I haven't got the drag too tight because what Remy does she she goes in to try and grab them sometimes a bit early. Feels like there's a bit of weight there though. Definitely putting up a good fight. <laughs> Little bloody black duck up there, I think. Yeah, blacky. Yeah, it's not a not a big fish. Sometimes the uh, small ones actually fight big better than the big ones. Which it's happening today. I don't know. I'd put him at maybe six or seven pounds, something like that. N nothing crazy. Now, so what Rem normally does is she normally grabs them by the top of the head like that and then that's just why I have the drag fairly loose because <laughs> when she does that obviously the uh, carp wants to swim off so 
I just have the drag fairly loose and just, just tire it enough so she can grab it. Uh, for anyone watching in another country, carp are one of the uh, most notorious pests in Australia. So it's illegal for these to be released alive. So this will be caught and killed. Looks like a pretty well, pretty well hookup. <laughs> All right. All right. Watch her do her thing now. Good dog, Ram. Good girl. Now wait, wait. Good girl. Good dog. Good dog. Now, better. All right, that was filming. That's that's a very good start. I was set my rod up here. All right, so you can see little Z man grub did its thing. It's very very well hooked. Just right up in the top of the mouth there. So let's get his hook out like that. So there's the Z man grub. Beautiful. Now, I'll just set this rod up real quick, just so Remy doesn't get hooked. And so I don't get hooked probably as well. All right, let's leave that rod there. Now, when picking up carp, for anyone that doesn't know, there's actually a soft spot just here. I only just stick my thumb or finger through there, like that doesn't hurt them it's just like a soft bit of skin and then you can pick them up like that when you hold them for a photo you've got your you can see my thumb there through its mouth yeah yeah it'd be probably about a six seven pound fish he's not massive but i won't complain What do you reckon, Ram? Hey, good fish. She just wants to go catch another one now. Something rustled in the bush over there. Could be a snake or a lizard. All right, well, that's a wrap. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm thinking about doing more similar stuff to this where I just compile everything that I do for the weekend into one video and then just upload it every week, which is sort of what I've been doing anyway. But there's been a few times I've sort of split them up. So that's just what I'm thinking. So there's going to be a little bit of hunting and fishing in this one. So let me know what you guys think. As, yeah, if you've got any suggestions or things you want to see. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to get out of here and go visit my nan and have some coffee and some food. And I'm bloody excited. All right, catch us later.